In this lesson, you will learn how easy it is to create applique lettering and cutwork files using Bernina Design Works software. When the wizard opens, Create New is checked. Simply go to the bottom of the wizard dialog box and click Next. In the Fabric dialog box, you can choose among several different types of fabric, choose the color that you wish to have for your background, and click Next. In the Artwork Source dialog box, you can choose among five different categories. When we want to have a blank screen to create lettering, we will select the New Graphic selection. Notice that there is a Back button in case you need to go back to any previous dialog box. You can choose the type of hoop you want from this dialog box or you can choose your hoop later after the design screen opens. Simply click on Finish and you will get a blank screen. When you work with lettering, it's a good idea to work with a rotated hoop. So click on Manage Hoop Options and choose from among several different types of hoops and place a check mark by Rotate by 90 degrees. Click OK and your hoop is rotated. To add text, go to the Edit Text icon and when you click on that, you'll see that you can choose among several types of fonts. These are all true type or open type fonts that you have on your computer. Make your selection, click on the screen, and type in the word that you wish to make into an applique. Click on the Select icon and you can visually increase the size of this lettering so that it expands to fill the hoop. If you want to center the lettering, go back to your Manage Hoop options and place a check mark in front of Center Design to Hoop and click OK. Now when we look at this lettering and um, if we open the dialog box, the object property dialog box that is, we can see that it is a painted fill. We can also tell it's a painted fill by the first icon in uh, the sequence manager. And yet a third way to tell this is a painted fill is to look at your brushes colors at the bottom of the palette. So we need to change this painted fill into an applique. To do that, all we have to do is click on the applique icon in the Fill tab of Object Properties. When we rest our cursor on the lettering, we can see that there is now a blanket stitch around the lettering, and this is the default type of stitch for applique. But we could just as easily change it into a decorative stitch or a satin stitch. Now because we're going to use this applique file in conjunction with cut letters, we'll place a check mark next to cleaning and choose laser cut, which is the selection that you will make when you're using it with letters that are cut out with the cut work tool. Now before we send this to the machine, it's always a good idea to do a slow redraw. When I click on the slow redraw icon and click on start, you can see that the placement line stitches first, and then the second part of the file to stitch is the blanket stitch that will go around each of the letters. So I'm now ready to save this. I'll go File, Save As, and navigate to the location to save the file, and call this Applique Letters, and click on Save. This is now ready to export. I'll click on the export icon, make my selection as far as type of device, and the applique file has now been sent to the machine. I'll use this same file and change it into a cutwork file, which will be needed to cut out the letters. To do cutwork, I have to go to the outline tab, and you can see when I click on the Outline tab, I cannot switch to Outline 
because I do not have an outline around these letters. Click on the upper corner, left-hand corner of a thread palette. It will add an outline and I can now click on that outline tab and change the running stitch into cut work. So this has now created a cut outline and you can see that in the with the scissor icon that is in the sequence manager. I still have an applique and I need to eliminate the applique fill from this file so it is just cut work letters. By clicking on the lower right hand corner of the none color chip in threads it will eliminate that applique stitch from around the lettering. One last step is to place a check mark in front of running before. The running before stitch is used to stabilize the fabric to the stabilizer prior to use of the cutwork tool. I will change my offset to one millimeter and hit enter. And when I zoom in, you can see that I now have a running stitch that is going to stitch around the letters prior to the cutwork tool cutting out the fabric. Again, it's always a good idea to do a slow redraw and watch this stitch out. The first thing that stitches is the running before stitch around all my lettering. And then the cutwork tool is placed in the machine in place of the needle. The cutwork and straight stitch throat plate is placed on the machine and the cutwork tool goes around and cuts all the letters that can then be used in conjunction with the applique file to create cutwork applique letters. In all cases, the, when you create an applique file with cutwork, you will be sending two files to the machine, one to do the cutting and the second to do the applique. So simply doing file save as and calling this cut work lettering, saving it and then exporting this to the machine, choosing your method of sending the design to the machine and clicking OK. I now have both my files transferred to the USB stick and I'm ready to cut out my letters and then applique them on a background.